Where's the sound? Nope. Reset. Chat, I just wanted to say dactyl in bio. I got that from the chat. They told me that one. It's a good bit. I know there's a chat member. It's like banger theme incoming. I, we're, I'm sorry to say we're not doing the theme. We're, we're going straight to the gameplay. I, you get this instead. Uh, so last time, Cr uh, Chrono and and company uh, got drunk, even though it's a Super Nintendo game. So they just had too much soup here at this feast, and um, the gate key was was stolen, the gate key, and they can't get back to their own time period. So we're we're basically like stuck here. But I'll tell you what we could do. We can fight some frogs. Vinny, Ayla runs doggy style. Yeah, chat member, you, you didn't have to say it like that, and you know that. I guess I didn't have to say gape key. But, you know, we're here to um, say really cool and normal things to each other. So... When it rains, we get new. Now, I had a new emote in chat made by Lumpy that was an animated new face, and it was amazing, but I called it Vine Stare, and we already have Vine Stare. So, unfortunately, I got rid of it, and because of my ban, when I got banned on Twitch, I can't get emotes auto-approved for like another month. So, uh... So I resubmitted it under Vine New. And I'm hoping that it will be accepted soon. Where is New? New, new have many points. So this, this area of the game is like a hunting ground. There's new. And uh, you get, instead of money, you get like flowers, like petal. Uh, you get rocks, you, you know, stuff like that. Flint. And you use that to trade in to get good stuff. So this is actually how you can make enough money to get the Demon Edge early on, before Magus' castle. Don't tell me these guys have a robot arm too. Yeah? What's the problem? It's 65 million years BC, okay? This ain't prehistory here. Th of course they have robot arms. You strong here, take. Three of each. Petal, fang, horn, feather. You plenty strong. Take. Got third eye. Times two evade. So that's pretty good if you don't want your character getting attacked. Tactile. Give a tactile. Man, Ayla is actually faster than Chrono right now, so. <laughs> she runs doggy style? <laughs> Oh, no! 
Why, chat member? Why? Why is it always this game? So I'm not going to do too much grinding here. Instead, we're going to just buy a couple quick things. And then we will do the uh, quests. Because tonight we're going to do Magus's Castle, which I enjoy greatly. She actually bites that stuff. So she's depicted as um, a character. She uh, In her character art, she has a club. Right? Not a club like my cousin's cousin had a club. But she had a club. And in game, she actually just bites enemies. Which is kind of unsanitary. I bet Ayla's immune system is strong as fuck. Like she just gargles rocks and like fucking eats frogs. Like, acid. Battery acid on the ground. Not battery acid, but you know what I mean. So this is a weird thing. I, I forget the exact, uh... Well, are we using Marl? I don't know. I forget the exact things you have to do. Like, the, the trading is a little tedious, because you have to press the two things. Fang plus horn, flint edge. That, that sells for a lot, so that's something we're going to want to sell later. We want ruby vests. I know for sure we want several of those. Stone arm. See, it's an, it's not a robot arm. It's just, like, stone. It's a stone. Vinny, what the fuck is this emote? What is that emote? What are you looking at? That is... Oh, Ayla... Uh, that's... Uh, not Ayla. That's Marl smacking her butt. I'm sorry. Is there a problem? That's her taunt ability. That's an actual animation from the game. Twitch approved it. Remember, none of my emotes can get approved um, without someone at Twitch looking at that and being like, Yeah! Same, no good. Try two different ones. Yeah. What was the stone helmet? Was it horn and, and feather? Rock helm. There you go. Uh, we don't really have... There's. I know there's one more. There's. A, they have gun, chat. They actually do have a gun here in prehistory. They do. It's a... Uh, I'll get the sage bow. Why not? It's a ruby gun. Cuts fire by 50%. That's really good. And there you go. There's our group. Um, Ayla just always has fists and no other weapon. The expensive ruby armor is here. I carried it for most of the game. It, I think that happens later on in the game where you get the, the good stuff. It's like top shelf. This is like mid-shelf armor. It's good, but later you get like top shelf. And then um, that you keep for the whole fucking game, pretty much. Kino, what you do? Say now! Hey look, Kino take Chrono stuff. Why take? Kino like Ayla best. Ayla like Chrono, but Kino not like. 
Miss Ayla, please do not promote violence. Kino, you know why I punish? Ayla no like Kino. No, Ayla like Kino best. No more do bad stuff, okay? That wrong. <laughs> Ayla. Sorry, Ayla. Sorry, Chrono. Give back stuff to Chrono. No, have. Reptites take. Reptites, where they go? Run into trees, there. Ayla go to. Kino go back village. Kino protect village when Ayla not there. Okay, Ayla. Kino is man, so if Ayla die, Kino chief then. Ayla, you are, you are gentle at heart. Chase reptites. Get Chrono stuff back. Kino kind of sucks. Like, Ayla is also top shelf, and Kino is like... Kino is like a Core's Light. You know? He's trying. Well, is he? I don't know. Someone just said in chat, Chrono Trigger reminds me of my trip to Maryland. Uh. Yep. I wonder if it's just because Maryland looks like prehistory. It was, yeah, it's a compliment. Anyway, Ayla liked Kino best. Ayla kissed Chrono to restore his health. Chat, this is another non-standard Kong. What was the, the video title that Johnny put for the... The fucking Kong in Mario RPG? forget the, what it was. It was like Punished Kong, but it, uh, it was like... Kino just like watch you guys. That's great, Kino, but who's plenty, three's a crown. <laughs> I finally found out that Tommy Wiseau was a caveman on this day. It took me this many years to figure this out. Fictional apes, that's it, Johnny. Fictional apes. Once in a while, someone at a convention or a screening goes up to Greg and is like, I saw you on the Vine Sauce channel. And uh, the, it was a good interview. And uh, Greg texts me and he's like, he's like, uh, more Vine Sauce fans in Calgary or something. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. <laughs> I, I think he's just, he's just being, he's just trying to like, uh, Show me that there are people that care. It's nice. I used the wrong move on the wrong thing. Oh well. Just destroy that fucking thing real quick. There was a, a new Tommy Wiseau commercial, actually, and uh, it's really good. I'm, I'm hoping we get to see it on the next Commercial Chaos.
because like he's actually acting in it he's acting his ass off and it is actually quite good no it's not but you know what it is it's earnest it's uh it hmm, what is it i don't know what it is it's something i don't know what it is actually but it's something He's Tommy acting like Tommy. Like his character in the car in the commercial is Tommy Wiseau. The problem with that is that he still has a hard time acting as Tommy Wiseau. It is an ad, but he's still, you know. He's still him. With Timu, you can order the most amazing product that you will like and use for the rest of your life. Oh, <laughs> what a deal. I don't think it was a Timu ad. Would you be accepting handcrafted poops? Oh, oh, uh, using the submitted commercials for commercial chaos. You s it scrolled up a little too quickly. I was going to say, I'm always down for handcrafted poops. Uh, yeah. I wonder if these owls have to ha or eaglets, as they're called, have to have an anger state. Oh yeah, they're turning into angry birds. Someone said this is the worst segment of the game. You know what? I might agree with that. And it still doesn't really bother me that much. But you know what the thing about it is? It's before some really great shit. And uh, you have to go through the forest maze, and then you also have to do a couple other things in this cave here. And a lot of the games, like, uh, dungeons and store like, they're story motivated, like, or character motivated. This one is like, Kino steals stuff, Chrono suck, I get stuff, make Reptite take. And it's like, you gotta get your shit back. You make sick reference to smoke dog, smoke the weed. You knew that Kino would like when Smook Davis smoked David. Dactyl is given to those who smoke Snoop Davis's weed. Wait, is it Snoop or Snoop? Like Snopes, like like the, the you know when they they cover the urban legends, like Snopes dog. <laughs> Listen, you try out every bit, sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't, but you try them out anyway. You wouldn't know. That's what stand-up comedians do. They go to a place, they do their material that they know works, but the only reason they know the material works is because they've done it before. So you always have to try new material to have new material, and if you don't, you know, if you don't try it with the fear of failure, then... You know, you're never gonna have new material. That's, um, that's a job I, I don't think I could ever do. I don't think I could ever do a stand-up. Which is a shame, because if I was born in a different year, that would have been my option to be Mr. Clown Man. It would have had to be, like, um, 
be a comedic actor? Try to get onto a comedy radio show? Or maybe try stand-up comedy? Those would have been my options. Or just shit in the subway. I probably would have opted for shitting in the subway. I know I'm not in music, of course, but I mean, yeah, I mean, if I wanted to do comedy related material, like obviously what I've been doing here is comedy. Uh, made a Snoop Davis joke. Check. Non standard. Check. Uh, what else? Tommy Wiseau impression. Check, check, check. Okay. I've got my wheelhouse. I, kn I know it works. Scrotum Luigi is a good bit. Underrated. Underrated bit. Also, is this... I think this is the first time you see these big dinosaurs, right? These, these guys are fun. Look at, look at that scream. Look at them tits. <laughs> yeah! Wait, do reptiles have... You know... O's? So, there are other paths. Also, there's a... Looks like a face in the wall. See that? Paradolia, maybe, but... It's like an evil face in the wall. So, you can actually go back up, and you can have those weird things drill down to um, other items. Chat, remind me, am I missing anything of particular, like, import? I don't think there's any, like, good items that I'm missing. It might just be, like, elixir or potion kind of thing. Some holes do lead to treasure, yeah, but... Probably nothing amazing. Full ethers. Oh, I can miss a couple of those just to get the cave over with. And again, I don't even hate the cave. I This is fine. There's vine shrooms down here. I don't hate it. Winged Ape. Those Winged Ape creatures, though, they show up a couple more times, but... Yeah, there's certainly a design. Aw, oh, man. Johnny with a banger in chat, hang on. Chrono, Snoop Dogg smoke, weed reference good. Kino, no believe. Chrono no believe, Chrono clever. Kino no believe, Chrono clever. Chrono very clever when no on stream talk smoke, snope, snope, smoke, smoke weed because Chrono no snope dog smoke weed. And smoke dog, smoke dog, smoke the snoop, and Chrono no if Chrono talk on stream smoke dog, smoke dog, smoke the weed. That Chrono Ioka no, Ioka clap. I think. Me butchering reading that probably doesn't bother anyone, right? I wonder if Ayla spits out, like, whatever she's biting. Ah, oh, that was not what I wanted to do. Oh wait, no, that's fine. That was a... 
No, like if she if she bites this dinosaur like she just did, is she like swallowing the dinosaur meat like for protein? But it's like raw and uncooked. Chat, I genuinely was not trying to turn that into a disgusting topic. I, I was really, I was just wondering, like, does Ayla eat dino meat? What's this? Could those apes have made something this advanced? Azala. Ah, the apes have arrived. Hmm. You're nothing like Ayla. Tell me what this is at once. Tell Azala about the key? Yes. Liars! No one would talk that easily. This should loosen your tongues. Come, Nisbel. I should have left the dialogue box open so we could hear that music a little bit more. So, Azala is the leader of the Reptites, and she is a walking, talking, smart, well-spoken dinosaur person. Azala is a she? Yes. They don't specify until DS. Oh, they don't? Maybe that's... You know what? That's weird, because I, I have weird memories of thinking Azala was a dude. And then, yeah, maybe you're right. In the DS version, that was the first time. So this fight can be a little tough if you're not careful, because... Uh, Eventually, Nisbel dispels the lightning. Ah, oh, wrong character. Why did I do that? Killed Chrono twice. Bad timing on Robo's attack. everyone healed up for this fight. I always thought Nisbel looked like he was shitting himself when I was first playing this game as a chat member. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, probably have one more cycle. Chrono. Chrono. Just to be safe, we'll do that, but I'll do another drill kick. Oh, man. Oh, man. Come on. Spin cut. Ah, oh, we got it. We got it. The 
ape's feet in his belt. Give thing back to Chrono now. But remember, we reptites will rule the world. Rule the world. Your days are numbered. These apes, it's gone. I do not detect any damage. I fight any time, Azala. Ayla, no lose. <laughs> you leave, Chrono? No fun for Ayla. Thanks, Ayla. I learned a lot from you. Sorry, Chrono. I try to be strong now, just like Chrono. Come again, Chrono. Party, eat, dance, fight, fun. Wouldn't this be amazing if you could just, like, go back in time anytime you wanted and, like, have a party with Ayla? And, like, all the other prehistoric weirdos? <laughs> Come again, Chrono, Robo, and Luca, too. Drink 20 gallons of soup. Oh, yeah, soup. Just stay there? I don't know if I'd want to stay here. There's no cell phones. How am I gonna know? How am I gonna know? Just period. Full stop. How am I gonna know? Chat, I think now I have to do a little bit of grinding before we leave, though. Uh, I'm gonna probably hunt two more times. And that way I can buy the ridiculously overpriced and o pretty much overpowered sword for Chrono. Is there an app you can use where someone will do the grinding for you? Yeah, it's called, um... I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. You know what you did, chat? You did, yeah, Discord. It, you know what you did? You just teed up a joke for me. Like a wiffle ball. Like, you just, like, lobbed a wiffle ball at me going three miles an hour. And I was armed with an electric, like, baseball bat. Like a Hitachi. Hitachi baseball bat. That just fucking whams that fucking thing. Just just destroys that thing. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Yakuza actually has a Hitachi baseball bat. Yeah. I believe it. I just believe it. Are you still gonna do a multiplayer Ribbit King? Um, I don't know. Anything's possible. I'm not I'm not looking that forward into the into the future about it. Right now. My plan for Ribbit King is to maybe play it again single player. But uh, yeah, everyone's going to want me to play the game with a different person. And that's why I just don't necessarily say. I just, if there's a collaboration, I just do it and uh, have fun with it. But yeah, I, I'm not really... Um, I'd like to do the rest of the single player first and then I'll consider some multiplayer in the future. Are you farming tech points? I'm farming... Okay. I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm doing step by step. I am farming petals, feathers, and... flint and that stuff. So that I can get more weapons. And items that I can sell. 
and buy the Demon Edge sword for Chrono because it's overpowered, but it's also ridiculously overpriced because the monsters hate humans. So I usually do, I think I, all I have to do is two full hunting grounds and I should have enough to, uh, to do the thing. Damn it, no new. Kino is the kind of guy who only drinks IPAs and makes a big deal out of it. I don't understand the obsession and, and fascination with IPAs. I really, really don't. Weren't they designed to just not spoil on ships? I feel like everyone's tricking themselves into liking that because it's just become a weird, like, social kind of, like, it's like, it's like a cool thing. Someone said, I like IPAs unironically. Alright, fair enough. It's an acquired taste. That's the best answer I've heard. Oh, you son of a bitch! Oh! What? Oh! Chat, I've never seen that before. I've never seen that. That's a glitch nicely done. Well, I mean, that's that's a first for me. I've been playing this game for fucking almost 30 years. Huh. I'm assuming that's been discovered, right? Like, that's not a first-time discovery. But yeah, that was, um... Apparently that was a frame perfect, I'm, I'm being told. You have like one or two frames to do it. That's actually really cool. And But timing out the amount of rain in order to do that sounds like an absolute risk. Not even a risk, really, just annoying because then you have to wait again for the rain. A risk of rain? I wasn't- wait, chat, I wasn't gonna say that. Okay, not here. Not there. Is there any specific reason for Chrono Trigger Stream besides being Vinny's favorite? I explained it in part one. It's just, it's, um, it's a game that, I don't know, it, it really, um, I think about it, I hear the music once in a while, and I'm like, man, I should play that. And I haven't played it in years. Uh, Four years. But this was my once a year game. I don't know. I think it's just a combination of everything. I think it's just a game that I have that kind of connection to. Some people have it for some games. 
I mean, hell, there's people with, you know, 15,000 hours in Final Fantasy XIV. That might be a little different. That might be slightly different. When you play Chrono Trigger, you just play the same 20 hours over and over again. No, but the truth is, though, there are so many endings in this game, you could technically do many more hours than 20 to get all of the stuff in it. Have you ever leveled up Ayla enough for her to get her new weapons? No, never saw the need for it. So that should be enough. I mean, that's kind of the most grinding I think you really kind of have to do in this game, and this is not even anywhere near mandatory. This is actually um, kind of dumb, me doing this. But yeah, we have way more than we need. So just bear with me a minute here. I need the ruby gun. Grinding rubble on Mount Woe is nice to get good text. I'm, those words were in the Bible, I'm sure. Another rock helm. I believe the flint edge sells for the most, but... I don't know what combination I haven't done yet. Ruby gun, there we go, that's the one. For Luca. Do you have a favorite party, Vin? One of them is a spoiler. And I know the game is almost 30 years old, but for those that are just watching this and don't know it, you know, and they're going along with the story, I try to keep the spoilers to a minimum, if possible. It's Kremrold. It is, it is Kremrold. Kremrol. Good old Spider-Man. I mean, I thought of a couple RimWorld people that we need to have. So one is Nortz, one is Kremrold, one is Melpert. Just as names. Like, those are just good choices for names, and I don't know why we haven't done them yet. Well, actually, Melpert is fairly new. Nortz isn't new, but we'll definitely get Nortz in there somehow. Nobunga is a good name, too. Um, and yeah, Kremrold is my favorite video game character, so they should be in there. Isn't this, like, your favorite game? Yeah. Lorpo? What about Gleeble? The asthmatic Dreeble. Remember that? My favorite character. That's the yellow guy of 2020. Do one more. Vinny, can you do a Valentine's RimWorld stream? I want chat to plap slime on climb on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Okay. Is that what we're doing? Okay. Well, I had planned on it, if I can be totally honest. So yeah, you'll get your wish chat member. Vinny, what about your precious son, Esophagus? Did I, at some point, have a bit where I named my son Esophagus? Can someone explain that? What, what is that? In Scorn? 
How the fuck do you remember that? Alright, I got the items I needed. I probably went a little overboard, to be completely honest. But, we now have many item. We can probably give and get Dactyl. I, I love that move, Max Cyclone. Just, it's Robo just spinning Chrono. Vinny, did you get weird snow pellets today? I don't know what that means. It snowed, but I don't know what you mean by weird snow pellets. <laughs> I'm sorry. They seemed normal. W were they hail? I didn't notice any hail. It's possible. The term is sleet. Sleet sounds disgusting. Like, it sounds like a filthy sex term. Sleet Yoshi. <laughs> oh, God. We made it back. You found a dreamstone. I'd forgotten how beautiful they are. You'll need to find someone that can process that mineral. You'll probably find him in Medina, a village near the Mystic Mountains. Thank you, helpful old. Has Specchio refreshed yet? Uh, yeah, Specchio is now uh, like a fucking goblin. Fuck barrel. No, I'm not looking for practice. Hang on. So, if you fight Specchio when he looks different, you get items if you win. That sucks. Yeah, that sucks. I don't think we're gonna win this one. Nope. It's probably not even worth using items. We'll return to Specchio when we're a little bit mm, stronger. So, for those following the story, or for those are not following it too specifically, too, uh, too um, intently, we're repairing the sword. We needed that stone, that's the only way to repair the sword. We got the so a stone and the sword. And why do we need the sword? So we can kill Magus. You found some dreamstone. Then I'll repair the Masamune. How on earth did you get the Masamune? And the Dreamstone? No, don't tell me. I don't think my heart could take it. It'll take a little while to fix this. I'll lend a hand. It's very in character of Luca. Four doors of time again. How are you gonna fix it? Don't interrupt me while I'm conducting research. The 
repair the Masamune, we must process the Dreamstone and activate the sword. You work on the Dreamstone, I'll work on the sword. Okay, leave it to Luca the Great. Robo helps if you have him in your party and not Luca, I think. Gonna be mighty busy. Energize this sword, we must first rejuvenate the broken sword. Real-time cutscenes before Half-Life. Oh yeah, this is a real-time cutscene, isn't it? Alright, it's done. Now, bring me the Dreamstone. I'm done here, too. Let me just grab this mug <laughs> and this Dreamstone. Alright, let's get started. Sorry to keep you waiting. Take a good look. This is the Masamune. Awesome, what a weapon! <laughs> Thanks, Marl. Well, I think that's everything. Okay, Chrono. Let's take the Masamune to Frog. This weapon represents considerable power. Your actions may... Either save or destroy life. Wield your sword with full knowledge of the consequences. Would you like to buy something? You have... Well, you can have Luca give commentary if you go with Marl and Robo. Then swap out Marl for Luca after Robo goes downstairs. Interesting! Wait, okay, hang on. You can have Luca give commentary if you go with Marl and Robo, then swap out Marl for Luca. Okay, I see. Well, I just learned a whole other thing. You still haven't bought the magic sword? I... I didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did before I did that cave. Well, good news is this. We're gonna bypass that entirely. And we're going to go for something the game technically doesn't necessarily want us to do. So, this stuff is extremely expensive. And the joke here is that uh, they don't want humans to buy their stuff. So they jacked up their prices by like 112% or so. However, it caps at 65,000. Meaning... The Steel Saber and the fucking Demon Edge, of all things, are 65,000. So the Demon Edge is almost double. Well, not double, but it's... it's No, it's not double at all, actually, but it's really good. And it does 1 times 5... 1.5 times hit on magic enemies. So, I want to buy that. Uh, so, I'm going to be selling some crap now. So the crap that I got in the past is probably going to be enough. Yep, there it is. And then you just buy the Demon Edge. And it actually does really help in the next section of the game. And it just feels good. It feels like you're, like, busting the game. And busting makes you feel good. What do ele the elements on the characters mean? That's their magic. Uh, not yet. We're, we're not going to truce yet. Hang on. There's one more thing I want to check. I'm not sure if it's here, but we'll find out. <laughs> Good chat message. Ah! Jerky? 
Uh, it could be jerky time. But we don't need for it to be jerky time. That could be later. I want to check Luca's house. I want to make sure. Oh, you're just in time. Tabenhelm. It's my finest work. The ultimate in defense for my daughter. Magic defense plus 10. It's a shame the tab and vest, or the, yeah, the tab and vest gets outclassed so quickly. I'd like to see more of it. Okay, goodbye. So why did we need the sword again? Right, well, we have to give it to the frog. Chat, I think even if I didn't try to force frog sauce, it would certainly be bordering on frog sauce anyway. You know, the prophecy. There's been more accidental frog sauce than on purpose. That is true. Oh, no overlay today. Oh, shit. Oh, is it too late? I forgot about the overlay. I don't think it's too late. Was frog sauce just an elaborate foreshadowing for your role in Arzette? No, I think it was something like six years ago. I was like, well, 2024 will be the year of frog sauce. I say, all, uh, you know, knowing the future. Something like that. I don't know exactly what it was, but a chat member told me that was that what happened. So... Wow, that news almost dead already. Nice. Yeah, that 1k damage is also a result of uh, Chrono Sword. Did you ever play Lufia for the Super Nintendo? I rented it. Not Lufia 2, but Lufia 1. Aw, oh, man, I should have fucking waited before I slain that snake. God damn it. Or Marl isn't gonna get her tech points. It was good, though, the Lufia game. But, yeah. I guess I... Yeah, I don't think I played Lufia 2. Anyway, big moment here. Tis thee again. I like how instead of wallowing in a swamp, Frog is wallowing in his sorrow. This sword... is the Masamune. I must ponder this turn of events. Remaineth here the night. Cyrus, are you leaving? Yes. It's time we took back the medal from the Frog King. 
I'd like to see that mythical sword for myself. But Cyrus, the kingdom needs you. And Lean and I need you. You must return to us. As long as there is life in these bones, I shall return. By your leave. Sir Cyrus. We, the Knights of the Square Table, wish you a safe journey. Listen well, my friends. I now entrust the safety of the kingdom to you. Pardon the delay. Shall we be off? Glenn, you be careful too. Be of sound health, your majesty. Dear Knight of the Kingdom, well, come and take it if you can! Ram it! Prepare yourself, Pollywog, and guard. Nirvana strike! Ah! How dare you pick on a helpless amphibian! Filthy metal! I won't forget this! You never see that sprite anywhere else in the game, by the way. Beware, Glenn. Cyrus, the sword. Masamune. <laughs> Is that the best you can do? Without your sword, you're nothing. Ah, uh, you haven't beaten me yet, C Cyrus. I I'm a goner. Glenn, escape while I keep them at bay. But if you stay, they'll get us both. Go on, Glenn. You'd better worry more about yourself, Cyrus. Come on, Glenn, go. <laughs> Cyrus. Cyrus? Cyrus! Huh. What's the matter? Aren't you gonna try your luck? Uh. <laughs> Can't cut your tongue, kid! How about it, Magus? Can't you give him a more fitting form? Alright. Why not? There's always time for a little fun. Ah! <laughs> you spineless wimp! Ten years hath passed. Can I do it? I've changed so much. Alas, poor Cyrus. Awaketh, Chrono. Though we may fail, let us go to Magus's lair. Thou knowest his power? Nothing can beat science. We won't be beaten by a bad guy. I mean, it's further, you know, there, there's a further explanation. You'll, you'll see it in a minute, chat.
but uh I'll just I'll let that happen. And there is a good cutscene for this. That uh, you know, Toei animated. Hey, you. Cyrus, run for your lives. Thanks, Cyrus. Glenn, there are times when people simply have to grit their teeth. But it hurts when I get hit. They... You're a marshmallow, Glenn. I'll never forget that line, as long as I live. Hey Glenn, I've been thinking about becoming a knight. I knew you were going to enlist. You'll make a great warrior. Why don't you join too? I don't think I'd make the cut. Why? You're better with a sword than I am. I don't know. I think I'd really lose if I had to hurt someone. Or lose it if I had to hurt someone. Kind of a weird way to say that, but yeah. Some of the best sad music in game. The medal. The hero's medal. Handeth over the Masamune. Also, someone in chat just said, isn't this a spoiler? Well, that's usually how things happen, you know. You get to the part, and then the game d reveals the thing. <laughs> My name is Glenn. Cyrus's hopes and dreams. And now the Masamune. Forthwith, I shall slay Magus and restore honor. I, I know, it's a spoiler. His name is Glenn. He was that guy. fucks up a mountain. Uh, ch chat, can I get a link to the animation of this scene? Because it is really cool. Okay, Johnny, you got it. So yeah, it uses the sword to just fucking cut a mountain in two. In twain! I think Frog wouldn't mind me saying. So, I guess the Steam version shows you... I think this is the Steam version. You can see the translation difference there. He doesn't have, like, an old English accent in the retranslations.
there's a slightly more uncanny element to Frog uh, when he's in an animated cutscene versus him being pixels. Just slightly. And then there's Goku, who approves. He's a fucking frogman. Yeah, he's a frogman. He's cool, though. He's one of my favorite video game characters, just because he's a frogman. <laughs> That's all it takes, man. Just give a frog a sword and I'm happy. A sword or a little car. Yeah, you're right. Little cars are good, too. Blade toss. Triple raid. So they have Robo, Frog, and Chrono have excellent uh, stuff together. Be that magic you use? I have heard only magicians wield it now. Travel to the end of time and you may gain the use of magic. I forgot about that. That does kind of break the pace a little bit, but yeah, that's that's something we probably should do. Imagine being a hero with an epic theme and design and fucking badass scene, but your name is fucking Glenn. I mean, if the intent was to give him a funny name, why not Kyle or Francis? What's wrong with Glenn? Did Glenn Quagmire ruin that name for you? What about Kermit? Yeah, Kermit's like a... a non... I don't want to say that word again, but yeah, I mean, Kermit is definitely a weird name that we just kind of got used to. Kermant. Kermel. Kermant. But there are, like, human beings named Kermit alive right now. If you, I don't know if you knew that. Hero Metal plus Masamune is best. Name one? Uh, Kermit the... Angelo. Kermit D'Angelo. What are other normal names that pop culture has ruined for you? Um... Ice Spice? Like, all my friends named Ice Spice, I just think it's weird now. Ah, what a weird fellow. Being a frog, let's give him water! So facto minimo magico! Robo can't use magic. Sad Robo. Oh, fortified with magic. Want to try it out? Nope. You guys are too much. Bring newcomers to meet me. Looked it up on Facebook, and there are tons of Kermits. I'm telling you, man, Kermit is real. What about people named The Rock? Yeah, I can't deal with that shit. Go to, like, a... I don't know candy store, and John the Rock Dwayneson is sell trying to sell pixie sticks, and I'm like, yeah, I just, I'm sorry, it's been ruined. Remember that kid named Dovahkiin? Yeah. Well, Dovahkiin and Khaleesi should get together. Oh god, how embarrassing. I mean, not, not now. I mean, like, you know, ten years from now. I think that would be an embarrassment made in heaven.
Someone said, I mean, real talk, it's hard for me to take the name Vinny seriously anymore. Uh, that's- that's fair. I mean... It's more rare online than it is in New York. Cause I- I have to deal with these fucking Vinnies all the time. I mean, Frank Zappa named one of his children Moon Unit, so... As embarrassing as uh, Khaleesi and Dovahkiin are... Moon Unit... I have a theory. I have a theory that a lot of these, like, insane names that celebrities name their children is just a way to... Get press on the that name, but ultimately it's um, a ploy to keep their privacy. I don't think that's always the case, but I think that some of those like insane names are potentially like if the media runs with there's a child named Moon Unit or like. XVII, like Roman numerals, you know, then they can just change the kid's name right after that. <laughs> because of a spell, when you say the names, you're casting a spell. You have to, each child must be named a different part of the spell. So, Ort. Pargon, Pargon, Pargon. Ulioth. A note written in blood. The juggler in Magus's castle strengthens his guard when attacked. Beware. These days, this. Like, I would have never thought about this years ago. But these days, seeing this soldier, I'm like, oh boy. The playtesters had a hard time with that enemy, huh? How did he even get there? The devs put him there. This can only be... Agus's castle. Yeah, there's a weird face on there, but also keep in mind that this image is mirrored, and that's just a sprite they put over the top of it. Which is why it looks a little different, I think. Why bat follow Vinny? What bat? Want to play? Yeah, it's just... I see the bat now. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's. I think that's just part of, like, the... Like spooky atmosphere. Our treasure. Robo, don't waste your strength. Frog, you're safe. Prono, so this is where you've been since the festival. I, you had me worried sick.
all really cool and normal stuff. That is the Kefka laugh. Ozzy! Welcome, Glenn. Or should I say, Sir Froggy? <laughs> hey, looks like you got some replacements for Cyrus. Magus is a tad busy right now. You'll have to take up your business with me. The swordsman Slash and Flea, the magician. And... You'll have to defeat all 100 of the beasts in Magus's castle. Yep, Ozzy, Flea, and Slash. As I said in an earlier episode, um, there's... In Japan, it was like vinegar, soy sauce soup, and tomato. Oh, a mayonnaise, I think. It's mayo. Can you remind chat why the party is trying to fight Magus? Well... Well... Magus, uh, we were told Magus summoned Lavos. And Lavos is the, the... giant, spiky creature that destroys the planet. In the year 1999. So if Magus summoned... Lavos, then it stands to reason if we defeat Magus, we can change the future. Well, actually, yeah, he created Lavos. He didn't just summon him, he actually fucking created him. That's what we were told. Do you want our treasure? Yes. In that case, will you... Play with us, please, pretty please! This, um, yeah, the music is very sparse and very creepy. And this scared the fuck out of me as a kid, and made this whole area seem so much more intimidating. And you can hear laughing, too. You hear faint... Like... Overblown laughing. I say overblown, it's just really low, low quality. No matter what you do, I'll break you! In the, um, demo mode for this game... Uh, I healed the wrong person. I do that a lot, don't I? In, in the demo mode for this game, uh... It shows you here... Or it shows your p a party here, and Frog has his ultimate spell. Which, I can't even imagine how long you have to grind for to get that. For this part of the game. Also, I've mentioned this before, but I thought this was the end of the game. Uh, spoilers, it's not. New- oh, or New Game Plus, yeah. But I actually, as a kid, this felt pretty final. I mean, this seemed like, you know... I know that's a little bit of a spoiler, but um, the way I described Frog's ultimate spell probably was enough of a spoiler. Frog, you're safe. I guess we'd better do something about that.
It's also a little bit of reverb on stuff. A little, little echo, a little delay. It's nice. Children this naughty deserve to be punished. I think we've, well, we've destroyed 15% of Magus' army so far. So, I mean, we're making progress. One hundred whole soldiers, wow. Well, there's other monsters on the map somewhere. I think there's just a hundred gaggles of ghouls here. The fights in this castle, I actually remember... Like... I remember what kind of day it was. I remember... My cousin from Connecticut and his father were coming over. It was gonna be a family dinner. Like I can actually, this specific part of the game, especially here, actually brings me back to that one moment. It's weird. The magician flee, I presume. Wait, that isn't Flea. Where's the real Flea? <laughs> here. Over here. Oh, that bat! Giving up, little tadpole? Who is this fiend? Keep your guard up. This is no ordinary woman. Meet Flea, the magician. What the? Hey, I'm a guy! But its exterior is that of a female. Male, female, what's the difference? Power is beautiful, and I've got the power. Poor little froggy. He must be lonely now that Cyrus is gone. It's weirdly, I mean, I don't know, maybe someone would feel differently, but I kind of feel like it's weirdly progressive for its time. Uh, though I'm sure people would take issue with that. I, but I feel they're just... Here it is. You know? Uh, and to be turned into something so hideous, dreadful. But since you've brought your new friends over to play... I'll show you all a good time. Oh, we don't have any magic. That's a problem. Well, Chrono doesn't. Ah, goddammit, the frog is asleep. I love the background of this fight. And, like, the carpet, like, the rug and the chair still remain for some reason. Let's see, how do we get... Oh, Frog's awake. No, Frog is not awake. Shit. A lot of the status effects have been, like, kind of just... Ah, you fuck. I was gonna say, it's like a little easier in this game because the status effects can all be healed by one item. It's, in, you know, instead of having like four to twelve different items for four to twelve different status effects. Oh man, why is the robot asleep? Um, doesn't your computer have sleep mode? Checkmate, chat member. So that is one of their best attacks this early on. Uh, but Frog is asleep again. Oh, shit. I mean, even Flea is yawning. Am I that boring? Come on, triple raid, triple raid! Big 
Vinny, I'm watching you on a washing machine. I, I don't know how to respond to that. And I don't know what that means. Did you just, like, put a laptop screen in... Like, a laptop in the washing machine? <laughs> Did you just watch me spin? Don't do that. Frog, don't... That's your friend, Robot. Don't, don't do it. His name is Robot. That's bad, too. We don't want that. Oh, shit. I don't have a heal all spell, which is a problem with this group. And that's going to be a revive on Robo. I have it so while you're in a menu, um, so there's two ways to play this game from a gameplay standpoint, wait mode and active mode, and all that does is, if you're in the tech menu choosing a spell in wait mode, the game will wait for you to make your decisions. In active mode, the enemies can still attack you while you're choosing your stuff, and it does make a big difference, and uh, it can be a little frustrating, but it's... But I think the game is kind of easy, so... Ah, oh, shit. Is this why you get the Demon Edge? I can see why. Yeah, I mean, this fight in particular is a little more tricky. Um, the, the, I feel like the difficulty definitely increases a little bit here at Magus' Castle. The stealable item for Flea is a bra. Oh, yeah! 500 experience, 10 tech. I knew that. How can this be? Sir Magus. Frog could use a little help with his magic. Vinny, is that a tab of LSD you just got? I would hope not. So, <laughs> Usually people lick the frog to get fucked up. In this case, the frog is the one that's fucked up. That, that doesn't... That doesn't compute. Put a stop to this. Please let me go. Put me out of my misery. Oh. Dance, dance, for tonight our leader is to be born. Ah, oh, here comes the sacrifice. They look like they all have arthritis. Who's Arthur-itis? Who is that? And how do you, how does one ha have a person? That was bad. That's also bad. Worst joke you've made in a long time. Yeah. Do you think bad jokes actually make people leave the stream forever? Because you're actually not allowed. Like, I'm not- like, I'm not allowing you to do that. You can't leave. You have to- you have to listen to more bad jokes. I'm sorry, those are the rules. It's you signed the TOS when you started watching the stream. I got banned on America Online as a kid. A couple times. I got... strikes. Did you know that they could kick you off the internet? I would get emails from Toss. I'd be like, oh fuck, Toss is gonna get me! It is TOS, Terms of Service. I, I used to call it Toss. The 
please let me go. They're just... Let's let's watch them for a, for a minute. They're just forced to, like, kill each other. Captain, I need you to kill me over and over again. Only a moron would try to kill something that's already dead. Humans! I mean... Hum humans... There's kind of like one human and a frog. And like a bunch of metal. But yeah, sure, we're- no, we're human. Yeah, we're humans. This music is rewriting my brain chemistry. When I was younger, I was, like, bad at this game. And it did the same for me. And I was- because I was here even longer. Please help. Relieve of- relieve us of this misery. I almost didn't say those words correctly. What do you think ethers and taste- um, and tonics taste like? Probably like mouthwash. Like, um, like old, like, <clears throat> maybe like old, uh, you know the stuff that, that the barbers put their scissors in? That blue stuff? Probably that. get past my cadaver pals. They were kind of easy. It's been ages, Sir Slush. That Slash, you slimy dolt. Still playing the comedian, eh, Glenn? You'd be singing a different tune if Cyrus hadn't been there with you. Last time... You to fit right in with those bony fellows you just busted up. Nice lips, man. I forget which DBZ character this looks like. Piccolo? Pickle Riccolo. <laughs> Never say that again. There are so many answers to what you just said. Yeah. Now, let's get to business. This is going to do me a world of good. And with no Cyrus to protect you, you're mine. You dare to oppose me? It might be time to heal up. This is a fun move. Good attack, too. Also, fuck off, Slash. That's my move. I'm waiting for him to say yes indeed. He says it. Basically dropping an anvil on his head like a cartoon character. Are you calling me a cartoon character?
Vinny, wait, you're real? I'm as real as Elmo. And I am shocked and saddened. <laughs> that devastated. Oh, yes, indeed! Did you know if you rearrange the letters in Elmo, you get Leno? Wait, no, you don't. Oh, I won with a counterattack. Got 500 experience, 10 tech. Unbelievable! But falling in the line of duty for Magus leaves me with few regrets. I like that you actually get the sword that he uses that was also on the wall in the room. This game is very detail-oriented for being a Super Nintendo game. There's a lot of detail-oriented Super Nintendo games, so I shouldn't say that, but... It's just lots of little good things in there. Time for a, a gauntlet. You gauntlet is under attack. There's like a whole kind of fantasy that I feel like early Zelda was kind of more based on. Like, just the, the generic fantasy. Like, I call it Fabio fantasy. Of like, there's dukes and wizards and, you know, knights. And it's cool, I like that shit, but I mean, I feel like Zelda definitely started in that realm. The reason I call it, uh, Diet Tolkien is one way to put it, yeah, but the reason I call it Fabio Fantasy is because he was the model on a lot of those books. Man, I remember reading... Can you play uh, the video where Fabio is on a roller co coaster and a bird shits in his face? So I don't think that happened quite like that. I'm pretty sure what happened is Fabio was on a roller coaster and a bird flew into his face while the roller coaster also flew into the bird at high speed and uh, he started bleeding. Nearly broke his nose, yeah. I mean, come on, on a roller coaster, you have plenty of time to get out of the way. All he had to do... All he had to do... Was just move his head. He failed the QTE. Well, some would say Fabio's a QTE. That's why he got all of that work. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling so many bad jokes. But, uh, it is technically Valentine's Day. I don't really give much of a... I don't want to say fuck. I don't, I don't give a shit, necessarily, about Valentine's Day all that much. Sorry. Um, so, for me, talking about Fabio, is as romantic as I'll get on Valentine's Day. I feel like Fabio's probably hiding something. Like, he's definitely got something up his ass that he's not telling us about. I got tired of this! Slash! Flee! Sorry, Ozzy, but they can't help you now. You fly-eating, tongue-flicking! 
Uh, Ozzy's in a jam. Those pants run, not run. Those no pants not run. I'm gonna throw Marl in here for a little bit. Got a good robe for Marl. So Frog having water and Marl having water, they make for some interesting double techs. It's too much water. Welcome! <laughs> I feel like Ozzy's gonna sell me a couch at his furniture emporium. Mm. Well, how's this? I got a little guillotined. It's not too bad. Doomfinger. So they called me back in college. Oh shit! It's time to stop watching. It's really, it's time. You've, you've been here too long. You can't... How are you going to watch a streamer that says stuff like that? Like, seriously, that's ridiculous. Walter. Put your doom finger away, Walter. It's me, finger. Walter. <laughs> stop streaming, Walter. Viewer number actually dropped. Oh, sick. Note that... Okay, so not only does this juggler enemy tell you that it's switching forms, you have to, like, go back and forth. It's like, so one attack you have to do is magic, one is physical, One's magic, one's physical. But yeah, I wonder how many people got tripped up on this and just kept, like, bashing their head against the wall. So they were like, let's just put, put a soldier. Just put a soldier with a note on him, a bloody note. Ice water. The fearsome ice water attack. Yeah. I, I hope one day I'll be able to just do that based on intuition and memory. But there is a way to do that without falling. Mm, bad choice there. This room is fantastic for farming tech points. Yes, I think I remember that. This is the Daddy's Jizzy's room? Wow, chat, good memory. <laughs> There's a lot of people that don't know what the fuck you're talking about, chat. There's a lot of people. I'll just say this, it's a little on the nose. There is a chat member years ago who, he might even be here right now, but there's a chat member called Daddy's Jizzies who showed up to the stream, and for some reason I noticed it in this room, and then realized that there were plenty of other chat members with, like, completely fucked up names. 
Orifice Horus was also was also there. Oh yeah, in this room you actually fight save points. They don't have a name. Elmo shit and farts compilation. That was a good one, yeah. And relevant. Why do they attack? I think Magus is just a jerk. Alright, well, we don't need to revisit all of these names, chat. I mean, it's a really nice sentiment. I appreciate it, but we don't... Like, I, don't, I think we can probably dispense with reminding me of all of the chat members that are probably at this point... I don't know what's happened to them, chat, but... They might be, uh, living in a van down by the river. <laughs> Man. Alright, listen, Smegmata Dentata is actually a genuinely really clever name. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. Well, thank you for ruining this room for me. I would have never remembered that this was the J Daddy's Jizzy's room. But now, uh, it's been twice. Now it's happening. Uh, four years ago and now. So now I just, I don't, I have no choice but to be aware of this. So, chat, you are fucking ruining my life. <laughs> The impossible! It's fine. Four years from now, we'll be in that room and I'll know. I'll know. I'll be the one that reminds you. That's fine. We don't have to ruin anyone's life. We'll just ruin our ourselves. It's good. Learn how to do this section without falling in a hole or you will be damned forever. Chrono has almost uh, got lightning too, which is a really amazing attack. Also, I hate to say it, but I think um, it's Luca time. Especially if we're going to fight Magus. The more elements, the better. So limiting yourself to only having two is not the best. I used Marl for, like, five minutes. I don't know, Retrotype. And, and you're- you should know, you're the cursed discussion person. Chrono learns lightning, too. Heal is good. 
Everyone gets healed. It's a great move. Okay, we got lightning too, literally just in time. Not a great noise. Not a great noise. Oh, those outlaws don't even fucking take damage from it. When I was younger, I didn't realize you could switch out party members anywhere at any time. Which is another thing that this game did really right, in my opinion. It makes no sense, but then again, neither does a talking frog, so it's fine. But... I think the restriction... I thought there was a restriction when I was younger. I was convinced that, you know, you had to be on the world map or go to the end of time, I think. And then Final Fantasy VII only reinforced that. But what... I mean, for me, what's great about it is you can switch out characters on the fly and try out all kinds of different combinations. And, uh, you never really have to, like, leave a character behind. There's some RPGs where I just never use the character. <coughs> selfie Final Fantasy VIII! Selfie Final Fantasy VIII! Final Fantasy X let you change out your characters. Like, during battle, which was another game changer. Let Gao die in the Velt? You don't need him. Just, just let, let, yeah, let Gao die in the Velt. Throw his corpse in the fucking river, in, in the, the Serpent Trench. If I'm not mistaken, I tried to do my Gao voice like, um, Flea, weirdly enough, did, um, the character in the Wild Thornberries. I don't know if... Am I remembering that correctly? Donnie, yeah. Oh, here's another character, Amaranth. Not the streamer. Amaranth the streamer. But Final Fantasy IX. I use Amaranth the bare minimum. Crappy Afro guy? <laughs> sure, if that's how you want to refer to him. Um, I just think he's kind of lame. What the? Impossible! <sighs> this takes the cake! Speed belt? Good for Luca. Magus make all these creatures? Did Palpatine make all those stormtroopers and Imperial Star Destroyer flyers? Pilots, rather. In the depths of Exogal. In the very cool film, The Rise of the Skywalkers. Did Sephiroth do this? The world may never know. 
Did you hear that Ian McDermott believes that Palpatine fucked canonically? Yeah, unfortunately, that's a conversation we had when Rise of the Skywalkers uh, released. And um, he said, I don't know. I read his statement and he was like, I don't know for sure. I would like, or it could be midichlorians, whatever the fuck those are, I think he said. But yeah, the actor saying that Palpatine fucked... I mean, I don't know if he has any inside knowledge... ...of, you know... He was deep inside their knowledge. He knows that. <laughs> he knows! I don't know, he was probably fucking... I, you know what? At least Rise of the Skywalker is better by 5% knowing that Palpy was, was boning. That's like the only interesting thing that that movie has brought to the lore. Let him bone. Plap, plap, plappy time. Plappy. Plappy team. That's, nope, that's bad. Plap, plap, palpatine. Palpatine, palpatine. There you go. See, I did it. Now we have a new word. Execute order 66 on this bit. The hell's an aluminum falcon? There are chat members who are like, Vinny, it's okay to have dead air sometimes. I know. I know. They didn't say it tonight. But I know. I love how he just lets you, like, just steal shit from those boxes first. Ugh. Thy time hath cometh, Ozzy. <laughs> I'm sure Sir Magus has already called for reinforcements. Wait until Lavos arrives. I shan't be defeated. No form of attack will break my barrier. Yeah, you don't you don't attack the barrier. <laughs> Watch where you're aiming! That guy was totally bent. <laughs> we must hurry to Magus's place. Get off vent or I'll have you bent. If you do enough damage to the barrier, it dies and stops being targetable. The battle continues. Oh, okay, so for the people that couldn't figure out the juggler, they have, like, a failsafe. Got it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, that feels good. I'm not even going to try to say that out loud. Now the chosen time has come. I don't know how to do a good Magus voice, so I just do, like, edgy. Exchange this world for... Magus! I... It's that stupid frog. <laughs> Kissed any princesses lately? I rather enjoy this form, and I owe it all to you. I have something for you. Ah, the Masamune. I bet you're just dying to use it. The black wind begins to blow. Okay, give me your best shot. If you're prepared for the void. Get ready for some great fucking music if you've never heard it. Oh shit! So this is a puzzle fight? Barrier change, only water damages. So you have to deal with... He's got a couple phases, but you have to deal with a couple things. I love that fucking weird statue behind him, by the way. It's so creepy. The sprite work is amazing, too. And that is a Satanial. There is a Satanial in the, in the background there. I mean, Magus' HP is 6666. Magus can kind of fuck you up, can he? Ooh. The statue is actually Lavos? Oh, I can kind of see what you mean. Yeah, I mean, without going into too much detail, I kind of get it. Sure. Never even considered that. I'm learning so much on this playthrough. What was his most recent barrier? Was it water? I think it was. Well, now it's Shadow, so we don't have that. I'm waiting for the barrier to free out. I think I have to do something. Uh, make Frog hit him. That's right, that's right! The Masamune! Decreases Magus's magic defense. I totally forgot about that. A 
only lightning damages. Got that. Shadow again. Well, I'll just have the frog continue to attack. Why does the Masamune decrease Magus' defense lore-wise? I was thinking about that, and I do have maybe an explanation. But that's going to be something that we delve into a little bit later. Remind me. There's a specific time to remind me of that. But yeah, I mean, it's just a theory. <laughs> Game theory, I know. Dude's going hard on the lightning right now. Get him. Get his ass. It's time. It's time. Magus risks casting a spell. Meaning... He's a little fucked up. Really just getting them gloves tighter. Man, he loves getting his gloves on tighter. Dark Matter, Magus' strongest, atta strongest attack. Frog might be dead. Yep. back. Everyone's health kind of goes down a little bit for this fight. Unless you're revived. I think there's a spell that does that. I forget which one. But, yeah, it just slowly decreases. Uh, it's kind of... It's kind of annoying, but yeah, that's part of the... That's part of the fight. It's the HP geyser spell? Oh, okay. I think that should just about... Eh. Attack. Spin cut. Spin cut. Now, quickly. Maybe dead? Maybe? Nope. Power of Triangles. This game predicted polygons. Oh, fuck. I don't, I don't even have any magic left for Chrono. Oh, we did it! Okay, shit. Wow. That is one of the reasons I get the Demon Edge. Done to the Masamune. What's happening? Could it be Lavos? Ah, bad timing.
Don't wake up on me now. What do you mean? Didn't you create him? You fools! I only summoned him. He lives in the inner earth, absorbing this land's power and growing ever stronger. So he wasn't born in this period. What's going on? A, a gate? It's huge! You... If you hadn't shown up... We're being drawn in. Whoa! It's almost my Luigi voice. Chrono. Chrono! Wake up, Chrono. Honey, you'll be late for work. I'd forgotten how beautiful Lean's bell could sound. Chrono, we can't keep sponging off my dad. Go out and get a job. Chrono! Chrono, 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 Ayla. Ayla had strange dream. Went to Mystic Mountains. Everyone lie hurt. They're hurt. I carry back to hut. Magus. Yummy frog. For Ayla eat. Perish the thought, lass. Uh, by the way, whither the blue-haired one? Only find you there. Blue hair one more tasty? We hath lost him. Magus said that Lavos was born in the distant past. Lavos, not worry now. You rest. Hurt bad. Chrono, okay now? Ayla busy. Look for Laruba village. Fight reptites together. Destroy reptites or we no survive. Kino! What happened? Quiet! Chrono rest! North wood burning! Reptites take Kino. Reptites hurt all who fight. What do now? Reptites follow Ayla. Ayla, bad luck. Those who fight, killed. You disobey, so reptites mad. Ayla, this your fault. Look at mess. Reptites followed you, so village now ruined. Ayla, feel bad. Reptites strong. They live long time before us. They smart, so we hide. But Ayla say fight together. Ayla still fight? Ayla fight while alive. Win and live. Lose and die. Rule of life, no change rule. Old man breathe, but dead on inside. <sighs> Ayla, you strong. And make big talk. We no have power. No, have power. We fight, gain more power. Ayla help you, but need dactyl. Give dactyl. Need dactyl? <laughs> dactyl in bio. Uh, I love that line, uh, as you can tell by the chat, actually, actu <laughs> absolutely exploding because it was said. Uh, so that's kind of a, a bit of a meme here. Go to Tyranno Lair. That reptite's place, dangerous. Ayla want die? Want to live. 
So go there. Ayla, be okay. Give Dactyl. Wrong button there, and Steam popped up. That's weird. Okay. Go to Dactyl's Nest and Keeper will help. Careful, Ayla. Thank you, old man. <laughs> Don't even know the guy's name. You! Take care, Ayla. Ayla Mao? No, that's not Ayla's name. There's no new items yet, right? I know there's a, a new item at some point, but I don't think it's happened yet. Or has it happened? I don't remember if, it, if it's happened by this time in the game. That's much later. Well, we'll take a look. I know they tell you if the armor is available. Magma hand. Yeah, I mean, there is some stuff available. New items, but no new armor. Peruse my bio. See my dactyl. I like that chat member. That was good. We could probably, you know what? I'll just, uh, I'll just go ahead and do a very bare minimum farm. I wonder how these frogs. I wonder how they're doing. Yeah, not so great. Yeah. I know, I, I too also think of Brian Peppers when I hear that fucking music. Fucking YTMND. Imagine how I felt that a Chrono Trigger song became a huge meme. And for that... Jeez. That's one of those things that's, like, completely of its time. Yeah, that takes me back, too. It does. Ah, new. New is there. Someone said, I miss YTM and D-Vinny. It might still exist. I mean, now it's, it's, um... I, I guess it's, it's fucking TikTok? <laughs> Is the new YTM... I know that's a silly thing to say in that way, but, like, what, what, what is like? I mean, YTM and D was so short form. It was just a gif and a sound, basically. And that was it. It was like... Five seconds, ten seconds, on to the next one. But it still exists. I Listen, I miss a lot of stuff that still exists. <laughs> I do. It's just, when you first discover something, it's much more... It's much more better. -er. You know, I think about Newgrounds, and, like, I like it still. Like, once in a while, I'll check out something there, but... For the most part... I would say... That it's never, never gonna be the same as when I first discovered it. And also, it's just because it's I'm in a different place in my life, too, and, like, of what I enjoy. Dream gun. But, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of... 
a lot of stuff. That it, but for me, it actually, when I think of White Team and D and Newgrounds, it brings me back to where I was in the real life. And that's something I'm nostalgic about, too. I remember, um... I was with my friend... Bill, who was uh, in Red Vox, and we were gonna go see David Gilmore, and we were talking about YTMNDs. I believe. Or we were on the ferry for some show. My, I think it was David Gilmore, and I remember we were talking about YTMNDs that we enjoyed. And that made us laugh. And so now my... My dominant memory of that is the good time that we had at the show, at the concert. I'm pretty sure it was a David Gilmore show. Yeah, there's really not a whole lot of new stuff, so I'm just gonna... It's a good gun. But, you know, hopefully we you, you make... It's best, to, I find, to just make as many new memories as possible, because a lot of this stuff, I, I'm very... I like to look forward, I like to focus on now, but I also get very wistful about the past. I do. And, um... I tend to not dwell there for too long, a, a little bit. But it's not, it's not something that I, I want to necessarily be like an unhealthy kind of like... I'm just trying to live in the past or recreate the past. I like to celebrate it, which is why I'm playing Chrono Trigger. This is a game that not only does it bring me back, but I create new memories. With the stream, I celebrate the game, I celebrate its place in RPG history. But I, you know, and I think about the good memories I have of like that time my cousin came over. I have a lot of cousins. I'm an only child, so cousins were important to me. But, um,. The new memories are, of course, uh, Doomfinger, uh, Daddy's Jizzies. You know, good, real, normal, cool fucking memories, I guess. Huh. Maybe, maybe on second thought, we don't make new memories. We just stop making memories. Someone said the old internet was different because not everything was there trying to make profit. People were making content websites that were focused on sharing, further exploring the edges of the internet. Um, that world is gone, and now people... Everything is solely made to turn a profit. I mean, Twitter got markedly worse. With money implementation. A lot of YouTube stuff, I mean... Even streaming as, an, as a medium, I feel, became very Hollywood or attempted Hollywood, as a result of how much money one could make from it, uh, potentially. I don't begrudge people their bag, but I also agree that, you know, when things become profit-motivated, they definitely can lose the thing that made them special. And when it comes down to it, people need to live. And to create things, you need to make money. If you want to see The Rocketeer 2, the Rocketeer 1 film needed to make a decent amount of money. It did not, so we never got Rocketeer 2. It's a great movie. So, I- it's also- it's tricky, but it's when people start, like... Yeah, when every little thing becomes some form of over-monetization. My, uh, my favorite example is... Like, internet news. Like, with articles. And it's like, there's an article about why internet news is dying as a medium. And then you read it for five seconds, and then a giant pop-up, like, takes over your entire screen. And it's like, please subscribe to get the rest of this article. I mean, that's part of it. But also, I think the infinite growth thing, not to dwell on this, because this has been a topic of conversation we've had before, but the in infinite growth thing is not great. Because, in a lot of ways, 
things aren't going to be as profitable forever. And I think that, you know, it's okay to settle for a lesser version and just kind of reorganize and reprioritize instead of trying to take the whole goddamn ship down and just say, all right, we're going to make less money. Let's try to keep doing the best goddamn thing we can and just adjust accordingly. The Red Fox reference? Oh, yeah, with SCP. I mean, yeah, that was part of it. That was part of it, but I mean, I'm talking about companies that make movies, video games. It's it's the same old story and has been music industry. It's, it's it's everywhere. But yeah, I mean, to do the things that you love to do, you also have to be able to feed yourself. And that's getting harder to do too. So, it's it's a catch 22. But anyway, uh, I don't know where this rant fully came from, and I realized something. I need Dactyl, so I can get more mid-tonic. Mid I will do that soon. So yeah, um, I guess just to end that, I know what you mean, but uh, it's... It's also... It's also nice to make a couple dollars for something that you love doing and work hard on. And... Finding that balance of staying true to what you love... And continuing to make... I'm glad Redbox doesn't turn a profit on some level. On another level, I'm sad that I can't pay the band. And that I, you know... Lost a ton of money on that stupid, shitty business thing that that dude... That's a whole story. But, Redvox for me is not my primary income, which I think just kind of keeps it pure. If I only had music, if I only had a band and I had to write songs to feed myself, I would not like that very much. That would not be good. That wouldn't be good for my, my songs. But I've also gotten to the point where I've had enough money to exist for many years now. And music for the past eight years of my life has been a, a form of enjoyment or therapy or whatever. So I don't I don't think that would ever really change. I think I'm probably a little too old for that. If I was 20 and I got massively famous, yeah, sure, but... If humanity decided to provide all the basic needs for everyone, would you still stream? Oh, yeah. No, I love this. Chrono! I can't be serious about going alone. No, no. Tyranno Lay are dangerous. Maybe all perish. Listen, we owe you one. Right, Chrono? Ayla have strong friends. We're all going to the Tyranno Lair. Dactyl has been got. Did you see that red star in the sky? That was kind of weird, right? So it's a good thing I noticed I don't have a lot of items, because... I definitely could use them. Hear a weird cry in lava field to east, never heard before. What about... Maybe frog sword? I don't remember what combo that was. Was that fang and feather? No frog sword? Yeah, there's a- no? Oh wait, no, there's no frog trading here? Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Still forgot to buy shit. These are probably extremely useful. I'm gonna top out on tonics too.
There you go. Imagine getting the ultimate weapon, the Masamune, just to find something stronger immediately. Yeah, that's smart on Square's part, they didn't do that. I already thought it happened a little too quick, to be honest. Like, you do get a better frog sword. But, uh, yeah. Um, so, you- Dactyl is a little flying, you know, sec- section? Segment? Uh, there's kinda just fuck all here, to be completely honest. There's really not much. I mean, you can you can go places. There's like one cave you can go to, which is Sun Keep. So that's something to remember, but otherwise, not much going on. But then you get here. And trust me, when I was younger, I scoured this whole area looking for like... I was like, oh, I can fly now! And then, oh. Tyranno Lair. very much love this music. This is an Oematsu composition. no fight, so they get capture. Is Ayla equipped? Yeah, you could say that. They died to the monkeys at the entrance because you skipped their fights. Those monkeys ain't shit. No, seriously, they just kind of wander back. They saw us enter and they did nothing. Thanks for bringing, uh, being the main course. Ah, it's the apes! Again, I just see alien. Like, I know they're supposed to be reptile humanoids, like dinosaurs or something, but I, I can't not see gray alien. Visit people! That's weird. Why do the Reptites hire the apes to do their guard duty for them? That's, that is strange. Maybe the monkeys would work harder guarding the entrance if the Reptites weren't so racist. I never thought about that before. Meanwhile, Azala and all the Reptites are like, Ape stupid! Please! And then there's monkeys guarding the front fucking door of the castle. Like, are you serious? Ayla. Hino, get back. Ayla, save you. Oh, shit. I don't even know. Sorry about that. I like to mute my burps. I don't know where the fuck that came from. <laughs> oh, Morty. Hmm. Sorry, Ayla. All Kino's fault. No matter. Kino escaped with Laruba villagers. What Ayla do? Put end to this. Kino go too. No. Kino no come. If Ayla dead, Kino new chief of Ioka. 
Ayla dot dot dot. A lot of expression in these sprites. Ayla strong, no lose. Kino understand. Show you something. I realized something. A lot of these games on the Super Nintendo and earlier around this era, they like communicate in emotes. Like Ayla doing that victory pose is like obviously something that you don't see in real life, but it's just it's an emote basically. They're just like me, for real, for real, bestie. Yeah. For real, for real. How great is this song, though? I'm gonna make that louder. For a little while. You strong, me weak. Hey, look, good chief. Listening to the music. Here's something I also quite enjoy. The the visuals here. Just the distant castle. This is a part I remember playing late. Not as late as this, but like, I, it was a school... The next day was a school day. And, um... Getting to this for the first time, and my... Yes, once again, my cousin was there, so I shared that memory with him. Of just, like, being like, what the fuck is this? Where are we? Why is this happening? Like, never the club cousin. Never that. Never, never, never. But yeah. And just not wanting to go to bed, even though I knew I fucking needed to because school was the next morning, early. But just like, TEN MORE MINUTES! TEN MORE MINUTES! THERE'S A BUNCH OF REPTITES! So we got one of my favorite moves in the game. Which is, um, Spire. It's really good. Chat, I may even go a little late tonight. To honor the memory, but also because I, I really feel like starting this dungeon and not finishing it would be a shame. Got one full tonic. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah. I... Yeah. I, I kind of let them down here, didn't I? <laughs> that is a great face. Also, some of the sprite work and like the backgrounds in particular with their gradients are all the more impressive knowing that there were a limited number of colors that you could use on the screen at any one time in a Super Nintendo game. So, that also, to me, just... says loads... I 
Have you seen how CRT TVs made these games way more detailed? Yes, that was a topic of conversation! I should have just... Huh. I should have just let them fall into the pit. Well, this is Spire. But yeah, I talked about that. I think this game still holds up even without the CRT stuff, but yes, a lot of these games were designed for that exact thing. Of course, I step on the one space that makes a battle happen. You know what? I haven't run from a single battle in this game yet. Can't run away. <laughs> Never mind. Uh. That volcano loves lightning. Wow, good job, Volcano. <laughs> Just did my work for me. There's just teleport floors. It's, it's very confusing. And battles. Vinny, who's the stinkiest character in game? Cool fucking question. I, I, I mean, Ayla, it was, I hate to say it, but Ayla would have been my answer because Cavewoman. But they might bathe in the river, but there's no soap. So, yeah, probably Ayla. Ugh. Uh, I would say Frog probably smells a bit slimy. <laughs> Why, why are we doing this? I should not have dignified your question with a response. Sarah Topper. It's a fun item name. It's like... What's going on in that melody? I'm, I'm trying to, like, Beato this shit. I need to buy Beato's ear training for $400 so I can understand what's happening here. Please, I need to get this item. I don't know where it is. Please. Oh. There's a very specific spot you have to stand on. What that spot is, I do not know. that. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, is that even a great item? Probably sucks. For like a, a mid potion. Uh, no, it's, it's good, isn't it? That's the item that you need to get the good ending. Turns out. Ah! Oh, no! It's soap. Could you believe the reptites were hiding soap behind their teleporting tiles? No, it doesn't make sense that there's teleporting tiles in the dinosaur layer. Oh, 
Oh my god, chat, I am losing my mind. I used to be able to do this so quickly. There it is. That's it. That was it. It's... ...pretty good. But I think I'm gonna keep the ruby vests because, um... In fact, I'm probably gonna end up going ruby vest for Chrono because... ...that shit... I got it, but I mean, that shit blocks fire, so I don't know. I'll just go with that. Ape smart, ride life. Also, I didn't forget about you, Uber Dragon. I know you're still VIP. Oh, I haven't forgotten. They might be asleep. I'm gonna let them have it a little bit longer. Oh, they're, oh, they're here. They're not asleep. Okay. They became a VIP because they discovered Vine Sauce in Infinite Craft. Thank you for the raid, by the way. And I was like, oh, I'll just VIP that guy for a day, and now he's still a VIP. I'm just too lazy, honestly. Enjoy your fake internet status. <laughs> well, I hope it brings you much joy. Yeah, I'm a VIP in the Vine Sauce chat room. Oh, that's cool. What do you do there? You know, just chat. That's great. Yeah, you know, it's something I really enjoy. But Vinny really appreciates me. I'm sorry, who's Vinny? Oh, he's the streamer. He's, he's, he's the guy who streams on Vine Test. Boy, I'm really good at fighting every single enemy in the Tyranno Lair. Kind of like a specialty. Also, Dragon, I have no idea who you are. I don't know who you sound like. This voice is not you. I am aware of that. This is generic, like, internet dude who is, like, letting the smallest amount of thing become, like, a big part of their personality to the point where, like, people are like, I'm sorry, what are you, what are you talking? Oh, uh, you know, I got my, my Neopet to level 14. Yeah, that was pretty cool. He's a regular in Brian with a Q's bar. Maybe. Vinny, go on and make fun of your fans. I've said this before, but having contempt for your audience is not only the best possible business strategy, but it's also good for your, like, mental health in the long term. Really, really good strategy. the noise. I was a yawn. I'd like to make silly yawns in my real life. But uh, that was a yawn that was also the end of the Red Hot Chili Pepper song. Give it away now. Or Squidward. Same thing. Give it away now. Right? That's what I like to do. That's one of my hobbies. What did you do the other night? Oh, I yawned and it sounded like the guy from the Chili Peppers doing the end of Give It Away now. 
But maybe also like Squidward. I'm not sure. That's fun. Yeah, my chat really liked it. <laughs> they loved it. Fuck. Wow. You know, the guy's name is Anthony Kiedis, right? Yeah, uh, I think he's in the chat, too. Azalez in the back. You flex, man. You just, you, you stretch them muscles out. Good for you. Not only does uh, uh, Nisbel let me through, but he just tells me where Azala is. It's amazing. But only for a second. I don't know why that's the case, but I'm glad it's the case. It's memorable. Hold it. This is a special place. The great Nisbel was defeated here. What? Is that a... bizarre translation issue? Because that's not where Nisbel was defeated. Well, he's Nisbel too, yeah. The great Nisbel was defeated here. But the first Nisbel was defeated in the other place that's not here. But this is Nisbel too. Okay. Yeah, I was asking who the stinkiest member of the Chrono Trigger Party was to Vinny. I think he really appreciated that. <laughs> I'll stop. I'm done. I'm done. Bit's over. Bit is over. You know that, like, the kid uh, with the mullet who's giving the thumbs up? Like, that meme image? That's what this character looks like in my mind. He looks at the camera, and he's, like, nodding in approval. Yeah, that, that's, that's this character. Uh-oh. We don't... we don't want that. I'm just gonna continue healing with Frog and attacking with Chrono and Ayla. Someone said, so this is why I like Frog Rock. Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean... ELP has a lot of stuff that sounds like this. A lot of the, you know, Uematsu I know was very influenced by Prague, so yeah. Falcon hit, there it is. I mean... Okay, the pacing of the game, I think, is excellent. But sometimes I do wonder why they put two big castles back-to-back. -back. I mean, the reward is amazing. But you get Magus's castle and then the Tyranno layer pretty much... Maybe, like, what, ten minutes of downtime in between?
forget which one. Alright, good. Eat shit. I don't know what made Uematsu equate dinosaur layer with, like, guitar riff, but it's so perfect. So, you are here at last. This is it, then, the showdown. Today there shall be a conclusion. Will it be the Reptites, or you silly apes who end up ruling the world? Strong survive. Ayla strong. Ayla fight! Hmm, hear that lovely voice? You'll soon become the best of friends. Big jump. Yeah, this part scared the shit out of me. Red star. Fall! Stain the earth red! Though it may be our fate to perish, we will not simply hand this world over to you. With this black Tyranno, I can finally exterminate those filthy apes! Someone said, I always thought this sprite was a dino on all fours instead of two. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can kind of see what you mean. I found, um, killing Azala in this fight first is a good idea. So that's what I'll be doing. I wonder what, like, so Azala has teleportation and, like, psychokinesis, which kind of makes me wonder. Like, it's never really fully explained why, but I find that to be kind of interesting. There's, there's something going on there. I also, as a kid, playing this on a CRT, didn't realize that Azula's shoulder pads were dinosaur heads. They are, yeah. Wow, a lot of people didn't know that. I guess I don't feel so bad. a lot of sprites that, like, especially on a blurry TV, I just had no idea what I was looking at. Chrono, stop... <laughs> stop casting lightning on your friend. What are you doing? Another telepathic spell. What 
Why doesn't Azula use her psychokinesis to throw them off the bridge? I don't think... I mean, if you want me to make up a lore reason, I'd be happy to. Um, you can't use it on a, on a sentient being. Not honorable? I think it's probably... Probably a good idea, though, actually. Oh, wait, no, yeah, yeah, yeah no, look. Uh, ah, she can do it! My reasoning is a failure. Puzzle up, break, HP down. Okay, now we have a chance to attack. But we also need to heal. What does Falcon hit do, I wonder? Because we need some healing. 900. Pretty good. Let's do one more heal, just for good measure. Melpert, what on God's Earth, God's Perfect Earth, the Slurp Kiss do? Oh, that's- oh, that's a good heal, I forgot, that's a combo heal. <laughs> slurp Kiss, yeah, oh yeah, that is a weird thing that you probably want to know about. It's an AoE good heal. Well, nothing we can do now except, uh, you know, get hit with the Tyranno's Fire. But that's why it's good to use the Ruby Vest for this fight. I may have to use the Slurp Kiss. That wasn't terrible, but we will Slurp Kiss anyway. This is Slurp Kiss. We need a, uh... Did that do any damage? I saw no numbers. Did I just blank out the numbers in my brain? 210? Oh yeah, I guess I just didn't see him. Ayla, you can't lift the dinosaur. Why did I do that? Probably couldn't even suplex a train. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe. This fight does take a while. I knew this was what I was in for by starting Tyranno Layer. Not 
quite... Oh, fuck. That was what did it. Ultimately, it was Ayla in a bubble that killed this giant dinosaur. No. It can't be. The heavens truly have sided with the apes. Listen, primates, and let it be known. We reptites fought bravely to the bitter end. Even Azula's shoulder dinosaurs are sad. They don't understand. Soon, stones of fire will rain down. Flames shall scorch the land. The burned out plains will slowly freeze, ushering in a long, cruel ice age. What a treat. You wish you went along with us. <laughs> Lavos. So Lavos just comes from space. I mean, there's more to it than that. And we can learn more about that in a future stream, but that red star was in fact Lavos. Lavos is Genova? Basically, yeah, there was some discussion about that in regards to how similar that concept is. Ayla's word. La means fire. Vos means big. Ayla. Kino. Look, it's Dactyl. Dactyl. They're here. Dactyl's here. Hurry, Lavos, come soon. All right, Dactyl. Kino, hurry. Ayla, what you do? Come, Azala, come. Absolutely not. The powers that be have spoken. Ayla, hurry! Azala, me not forget. Future. Future? What about future? We have no future. No fault of Magus does Lavos live. Lavos hath fallen from the sky in ancient times. Lavos huge. Chrono fight it? Chrono just nodded yes. Chrono, we go where Lavos fall. Left unscathed, it will burrow deep within the earth. Best to defeat it now. It is a gate. Lavos very fast, deep under earth already. M mayhap Lavos be the cause of this warp? The one in Magus's castle was immense. What wrong, Chrono? Fight Lavos. Go in here? Go in here. Yes?
just for the sake of some different dialogue. I usually do uh, the party of Ayla, Frog, and Chrono going into this portal. Well, it is the gate nearest to Lavos. We have no idea as to where it leads. The time gyro says, What? 12,000 years in the past? That was some trip. Now, do you learn that this is 12,000... BC? Um, when without Robo in the party? You do, okay. It just says it when you go outside. Okay, because yeah, this is 12,000 BC. Uh, clearly, shit's frozen. Nothing to do here right now. And then there's this. Welcome to Zeal. Here in 12,000 BC. We're just like in the sky now. Maybe one of my favorite parts of, like, any video game. But this is where I must end the stream. I mean, again, my reaction to this when I first played it was like... I, like, I didn't know it was going here at all. And I had no idea that the game was still gonna go. I was like, the game ends with Magus. Wait, the game ends with the dinosaur. Wait, we're gonna kill Lava- oh, 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 what's this? So yeah, it's it's like this is a very memorable moment in the game. And the music is incredible. Also, really really interesting that you go here the moment after Lavos crashes to the planet for reasons that will become more obvious on the next stream. Alright. Well, thank you for watching Chrono Trigger. Really happy to share these um, game moments with you. It's time for me to go to sleep and to end the stream. I hope you have a great night. Soon, Card Sauce, Rim World, and then more Chrono Trigger as well. Take care, everybody. Good night.